Okay, go ahead. So I have headphones so you can listen to this language, and I'm going to ask you if you can identify what language it is. Okay, sure. <laughs> Okay. It's giving Scottish, Irish, um, uh, I'm gonna go with Scottish. Or no, oh, well, mm, I felt like there was like some kind of Lederhosen kind of vibe too, but it doesn't sound like German. Uh, mm, ooh, maybe Celtic? I'm gonna say Celtic, even if that's a dead language maybe. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Now I'm going to, can you, can you cut, it, cut that there? I think you're being the first one. Would you believe me if I told you that that was a language called Scots? Scots, that makes sense. Cause I was thinking like Scots, Scott Irish, but I couldn't think of what like the Scottish language, is it from Scotland? Yes, it's from Scotland. So I'm gonna play you that same clip, but in English. And I want you to listen to it and see if you can understand what's going on. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the same clip in uh, Scots and I want you to see if you can identify those words. See, that's crazy because I was, I was, thought it would, I was expecting it to sound like Old English or something, but it sounds so different to me. Do you understand any of the words that were in the Scots video? I don't think I understood any besides English. Okay. He's saying English and Scots. Yes. <laughs> so next I'm going to show you uh, a weather forecast in Scots. Okay. And I want you to listen to me, listen to it. Okay, that, I heard like station, I think. And then I heard uh, maybe lower, I don't even know. But like, I didn't really recognize anything else. Okay. So next, I hope you don't mind reading. Lots of people don't like reading, but. Sure. Uh, I can read. I'm gonna show you a snippet from a very popular book, but it's translated to Scots. I want you to tell me, one, what's happening in this sentence paragraph? And two, what book is this? If you recognize mm. this book. Okay, in Scots. And read it out loud if you want to. He was a muckle beefy bukit man. Wait, wait, Scots, how do Scots talk? Uh, like the movie Brave? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was a muckle beefy bukit man with a stumpy wee craggy, although he did ha. A, hey, a gay muckle mouser. <laughs> she was a skinny malinky, blonde hated woman, whose craggy was just about twice as long as either folks, <laughs> which was awfully handy as she spent, say, muckle time kicking over, <laughs> over or garden fences. Nibbing at the neighbors. They had a wee son and tell them there was a brow lad in the hail world. <laughs> okay, so what happens in this paragraph? What's what's happening in this paragraph? What's this paragraph um, it's saying? Just, yeah, it, it describes a woman. I remember like a blonde haired woman. Can I look at it? Yeah, okay, a beefy, beefy bucket man. Okay, it's a beefy guy. Um, and so it describes a guy that's like a beefy dude, and then a girl who's like a blonde, skinny. Uh, mm, Crikey was just about, about twice as long as her folks. That sounds like an idiom about something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, which was awfully handy as she spent some, so she spent time uh, o over the garden fences, uh, nibbing at the neighbors, maybe nagging the neighbors. They had a, 
a little sign and then there was a there's another brower bigger bigger lad so like okay so it's a guy a girl the girl talks over the fence there's a sign and a bigger sign there's two sons there's i think it sounds like there's at least there's one we son and then there's another laddie so it's either a son or like just another boy or something. okay so i'll tell you that this is a book you've probably read before okay can you guess what book it is i i really don't know it's a very popular children's book uh uh okay i'll give you you want a hint yes okay in this book they play a sport called biffle ball bism ball bism ball bism ball mm. I was almost about to say that. It's, but it's like a side plot. It's not the main plot. That's, yeah. That's the Scots. That's the translation for the sports. Oh. It's not mm. the word you'll be familiar with. Okay. In this, they play a sport called bism ball. Bism ball. Bism ball. Sounds like wiffle ball. Shit. Uh, maybe. I'm just gonna say. Okay. That that sounds like European. I'm gonna say. I don't remember the names of any of these books, but I feel like I have read this at some point. Um, mm. I'll say it. Dun, 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 oh my god, it's, it's not Harry Potter. It's Harry Potter. What? It's the first, it's the second paragraph of the first book. Bosom Ball totally it's Quidditch. threw me off. It's Quidditch. It's Bism is the Scots word for broom. Ball is ball. Oh. That makes sense. I just, mm, they really adjusted things. So there's like Scots backing for that. There, there's like Scots stuff in. Well, yeah, because J.K. Rowling lives in Scotland. She's not Scottish. She just has a castle there because she's rich and not a good person. Right. But this this part's getting cut out the video. I'm not gonna insult. <laughs> Although I have very strong feelings about J.K. Rowling, I'm not gonna share them publicly. All, all good. Interesting that she has a house, a castle in Scotland. But huh, I didn't even uh, know. I never knew that. Thank you. Thank you, Moonlit Magic. And wait. Real quick, this will be the very, very end or very beginning. What's your name? Uh, my name is Moonlit Magic, or Ricky, if you want to talk to me. And where can we find you? You can find me at Moonlit Magic Music on Thank Instagram. You. Thank you. One more question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you think that deserves to be called a separate language from English? Scots. Does Scots deserve to be called a separate language? I'm going to say yes, because I feel like... You know, there's some there's a lot of languages that share common words. Like, like I speak Spanish as well a little bit because of my mom, and like I see similarities with it with like Italian or maybe French a little, like Romance languages. So like I feel like there doesn't have to be like complete separation between the languages. I think it can be considered its own because I definitely couldn't recognize it at first. Thank you. Yeah. Question mark. Yes. You ready? Yes. All right. Question mark now. All right. Rolling. Yes, rolling. All right. Um, so I'm gonna play you an audio clip, and I just want you to tell me if you can identify what language it is. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and put these on. Any ideas? Uh, at first I thought it was like Scandinavian something, but okay. it kind of, towards the end, started to sound like, I don't know, like Irish or Scottish or something like that. Okay. Something in that so neighborhood. Scottish is a good guess because okay. it is the Scots language. Okay. All right. So it's different from Scottish Gaelic, okay. which you might be more familiar with. Scots is a language basically that diverged from Old English. So it's related to English, but it's more than just Scottish English. It's its own language. Okay. All right. Now I want you to listen to two clips. It's the same story being told once in Scots and once in English. Okay. And I want you to try to pay attention to how different they are. Okay. All right, and now English. So did you find that you could understand any of the Scots? No. 
Like nothing? maybe the word in English. The word English. Yeah. <laughs> but right? That's it. Yeah. So do you, you? But you understood the Scottish English version. Like with the accent, like with yeah. the Scottish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So do you think those deserve to be called two different languages? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, where'd you put the reading bit? Oh, here, come over here. I'll get it to you. Don't need this anymore. Okay. Huh? All right, still rolling? Yes, we're gonna stop. All right, uh, next I want you to just read this paragraph. Mm -hmm. um, you can read it out loud if you want. You don't have to, but... Uh, okay. And I just want you to try to think if you maybe know what book it is. It's a very popular book. If you used to read when you were a kid, you've probably read it. Um, and if you don't know what book it is, can you at least understand it? So go ahead and give that a read. He whiz a muckle beefy bucket man with a stumpy wee craggy. Although he did hey a gay muckle mouser. She was a skinny metal skinny malinky blonde hide it woman waist. Craggy whiz just a boot twice as lang as either Fawkes, which was offy handy as she spent say muckle time keekin o'er garden fences nebbin at the neighbors <laughs> they had a wee son and ta them there was a brower laddie in the hail world oh my god so any ideas on what book that might be skinny malinky blonde height <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whose Craigie was just about as twice as long as other folks. Okay, something about this skinny blonde woman is long. I don't know what it is. I can't think of. I can't think of the book. So this is Harry Potter. This is from the first page of the first Harry Potter book okay. in the Scots translation. Okay. So you felt like, I mean, based on what you said, it seems like you could understand a little bit. Yeah. Right, but yeah. do you feel like? You really understood what was going on or just a couple words here and there i i got the sense that there's like just a description like a character description mm -hmm. going on um and some of the words are familiar but yeah that was definitely crazy right. so you're still thinking that it's definitely a different language from english a little bit less than the audio example i'd say right the that's reading a little is easier yeah, yeah yeah okay excellent thank you very much all right thank you that's all um if you want a shout out, you know, let us know. Uh, yeah. Who are you? What's your name? Where can people find you? My name is Devon Latroy. That's D A V O N L A T R O Y on all platforms. Follow me. Fuck with my music. Thank you. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What language is that? I have no idea. Just take a guess. Um, I mean, if I had to guess, I would say like Swedish, but I know that that's wrong. <laughs> it's a language called Scots. Have you ever heard of Scots? No. So Scots is a language spoken in Scotland. Okay. I'm gonna play you a clip okay. of someone speaking Scots. And I'll play that same clip in English. And I want you to tell me what you can notice. So, what'd you notice about this clip? Um, I don't know that I have much. 
So would you say that Scots and English are the same language? I uh, no. Okay, so now I'm gonna make you read Scots. And it's a popular children's book you may have read before, translated into Scots. Okay. It's the very beginning of the book, so there's, I'll have you read it yourself. Okay. You can read it out loud if you want to, or I can read it out loud to you, it's up to you. Okay. Yeah, I don't know this. Okay. So what what do you think's happening in this paragraph? Um Do you recognize any words maybe? Uh there's man, there's stumpy. Uh Gay, spelt differently. Skinny's in there, blonde. I'm gonna try to read it to you out loud so you can get a... He was a muckle, beefy bucket man. We a stumpy wee Greggy. Although he did hey a great gay muckle mouser, she was a skinny manly like. Blonde height woman who is craggy was just about twice as laying as these folks. Which was awful hungry as she spent mucky time kicking over cotton fences, nebbing at the neighbor. We son, and say them was near brawly laddie in the... Did that help at all or was I just wasting your time? Uh... It gave me a little bit. <laughs> so like, what, what do you think? Um... So I, I said this is a popular children's book. Okay. In this book, they play a fictional sport. Okay. They call this sport... Bizzle ball. Bism ball. Bism ball. Bism ball. Bism ball. It's the Scots word. It's a Scots word. Translation of this fictional sports. So like a Harry Potter thing? It's literally Harry Potter. Quidditch. It's literally okay. Harry Potter. Yes. So it's Quidditch? Quidditch. Quidditch. <laughs> because the Scots word for broom is bism. Oh, okay. So it's like a, a translation. Okay. Did you guess it was Harry Potter? From it's, They're talking about Harry's family, the Dursleys, if you remember uh, the beginning. Talking about Mr. Dursley being a big man and okay. his wife. Do you, do you see it now? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. So, when I read it out loud, how did that help you? Um, a little bit, I guess, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and you make Sorry. music, right? Yeah. I'm gonna take the headphones off, or you can... We can, uh... If you want to... I uh, just asked, like, uh and into the mic but like um no, you, you just repeat it into the mic just, yeah that's what i'm gonna do but um like just uh, uh like are are you sure that what's this question like would you say that scots definitely deserves to be a separate language okay yeah would you say that scots deserves to be a separate language than english i would say so i didn't know all of the words and i didn't think that i would have been able to read a full story in Scots. Thank you. And if you'd like to promote yourself, what's your name and where can people find you? Um, Shaniqua Loves Music on Instagram and hopefully on Spotify by next year. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much. All right, I'm ready when you are. Ready. All right, I'm here with the prettiest rapper in Austin and I just want to ask you, uh, we're gonna play an audio clip for you. Okay. And I want you to tell me if you can identify what language it is. Why? All right, so there you go. Oops, sorry. Take a listen. All right, any ideas what that might be? It sounds like English, but the accent is like foreign as hell, like Scottish or like, I don't know, somewhere up in Norway or wherever okay, that yeah. is. So Scottish is correct. It is <laughs> Scottish, but cool. it's the Scots language. Ah. So it's closely related to English. Modern English and the Scots language both come from Old English. Right. But Scots is its own language now because yeah. it's changed enough. Okay. Right, so now I'm gonna play you another video, okay. and it's someone just explaining. It's a short clip of someone from a longer video, 
but it's the same explanation once in Scots and once in English. Cool. With English with a Scottish accent. All right, so here's Scots. So here's the same thing in English. <laughs> right. So do you think that Scots definitely deserves to be considered a different language from English? Well, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, did you understand any of the Scots in this one? Like a word every like 30 or something. You know? Okay, but you understood the Scottish English? No. Not really. I understood the English, but like not the, the, the English. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. The English with the Scottish accent, right? Right. You yeah. understood that one, but not 100%. the Scots version. Hundred percent. Right. Okay. And now we got one more thing for you. It's just gonna read a short paragraph from a book. It's a popular children's book that you might have read yourself, but this is the Scots translation. Okay. All right. So it's just reading. There's no audio, but uh, go ahead and read that for us. You can read it out loud if you want, and just tell us if you think you can understand it or if you know what book. What book you think it might be? Yeah, I have no idea what book this is. Yeah, I honestly get lost really early on. Do you think you understand any of it? He was a man with, he did gray, Blonde hair. So you're catching like uh, a few words, of course, reading. <laughs> Craig. You can see some of the words are like spelled the same as English, right? Right. But you don't really understand overall what, what they're saying? No, they're like describing somebody, I don't know. Right, so this is actually, any ideas what the book might be? No. This is from Harry Potter. <laughs> this is from the first page of the first Harry Potter book okay. in the Scots translation. Um, so yeah, now after reading that, you can see some of the words or maybe a bit more similar to English than just listening, right? Right. But you still think it deserves to be called its own language, separate from English? Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why? Well, I think there's other languages that are similar to English but categorized differently. Um, I think English is a language that has gone through a lot of phases where at one point in England it had a lot of French in it. And so, mm -hmm. like, um, and even, like, pigeon is has a lot of English influence, of course, but has a different language. Uh, and so, yeah, it just makes sense that it would be a language, but it's probably not a language because of Britain and stuff, right? Right, <laughs> that's a pretty nuanced answer there. I like that. That's very good, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if you'd like to give yourself a shout out, you know, tell us your name, where people yeah. can find you. Uh, I'm Khaki, I'm Khaki underscore connect on Instagram, prettiest rapper in Austin, and uh, all my links and stuff are on there, so yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. Go ahead. I'm gonna play you a clip, and I want you to tell me what language you think this is. Off the top, maybe either some variation of a uh, Irish dialect or or uh, in Indian, maybe uh, some some variation of Indian language. You said Irish, which is very close. This language is called Scots, and it's spoken in Scotland. Scots. You ever heard of Scots before? No, honestly, no. So Scots is related to English, but the language is branched out. That's what the video is going to explain. Uh, but here's a video explaining that in Scots. I'm going to play that same 10 second segment in English and see what you can pick up. So after hearing those two clips, the same exact words in different, in Scots and English, right. would you say that Scots is a different language than English? No, just because I understand uh, 
the difference like in in accents like i mean people come from all over the world you know what i mean to it primarily english-speaking countries or whatever and they have like their own way of you know pronunciation i'm i'm not gonna fault the the scots you know what i mean uh but oh, i think it's yeah. interesting i think it's interesting yeah okay so now i'm gonna have you read a section from a book it's an english book a p very popular children's book that you've probably read before okay. uh but it's translated to scots okay i want you to read this and out loud if you want to and heard he was a uncle beefy bucket man with a stumpy wee craggy although he did ha a gay muckle mauser uh skinny malinky blonde hide it uh woman was craggy with just a boot twice as long as ether folk oh but which which was alfie houndy as she spent uh, uh say muckle time keeking on her garden fences nibbing at the neighbors they had we son and tay them their winds nay a brow brower laddie in the hail world so I, I want you to world. just look at this and like look at it in your head and think about like what do you understand just by like looking at how it's spelled uh like tell me what's happening you think what, what's uh, happening in this okay, paragraph with a, with a wee wee stumpy wee craggy although he did ha a gay muckle mauser uh like what's happening in this paragraph uh, i it's you got me okay so they're, they're, me. they're describing the characters how these characters look yes uh and it's describing a big guy and his big son his kind of slender wife it's a popular children's book can you guess what it is uh i'll give you one more hint maybe goldilocks maybe i'll give you one more hint because i know you've probably read this book in this book they play a fictional sport the Scots translation of the sport's name is Bismball. Bismball. No, it's it's. So one more final hit. Bism is the Scots word for broom. It's a fictional sport where they use a broom. It's not Harry Potter. It's is Harry it? Potter. No way. Yes, that's, bro. This is, they're talking about the Dursleys. Harry's uh, uncle, he, Uncle Dursley. That's why we sent it out. The this is their names. That's, yeah, that's, that's kind of wild. That is wild. So after reading this, would you say that since the book was translated to Scots, will you say that Scots, well, that sounds like a leading question. Let's cut that part out. I was going to say like. Well, you could just ask, because you said it's the same language before. So well, yeah, like, is, does your you opinion, think yeah. Do you, is your opinion change now? In some, yeah, a little bit only because of, if I didn't have any like training or, or know of, the, of that dialect or that like accent, I would have. Honestly, I would have no clue just looking at that. I would think it's, you know, hieroglyphics or, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, Is that any, any, any more questions I should ask? I fucked up that last question, though. Or yeah, just. It's all good. I stop him. You can take it off yourself, man. Gotcha, you know how gotcha. phones work. That's wild. That is a wild dialect, <laughs> bro. I'm sitting there like, uh, it's like a, like a German off, you know what I mean? Like housing, whatever, like, I'm sitting there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one, one last thing. Uh, you're still recording, right? What's your name and where can we find you? My name is The Boy, a.k.a. Josh or Lawrence. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, social medias, uh, Apple, Spotify, all that good stuff at H8TheBoy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to play an audio clip for you, and we just want you to guess what language this is. It's from a poem, by the way. It'll be some call at a bad call, and at min plus station, just a vision. It'll feel on the jilt side, at beel side, and you win a see dice for ice. It'll be some rock at the brook, and very rock indeed, at Peter Heed. It'll be an entrance shower at Aber Lower. It'll be real wheat at King's Seat, and at Ochen Blay, it'll poor our day. Any ideas what language that is? Some sort of Scottish language. Okay. Excellent. Um, that's a good answer, right? So we're still on three times Zoom, right? Yes. Okay, good. Um, rolling? Yes. Okay, so that's actually the Scots language. It is from Scotland. 
it's not Scottish Gaelic, which you might have heard of, mm -hmm. but it's something that branched off from Old English. Oh. So it's related to English, but it's not the same language. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is play you a clip of the same video talking about the history of the Scots language once in Scots and once in Scottish English. Okay. It got Scots tain muckle with smeddle. As a screeved lead, it mere and mere gied way to English, in London come to be seen as heat mace that matters a lead. All right, and this, and this is Scottish English. As a spoken language, many Scots found it advantageous to conduct their affairs in English instead, unable to shake off their Scots pronunciation as a spoken language. So, did you find that you could understand the Scots version, the first one we played? Um, I could understand like a couple words. I heard like mm -hmm. English, but otherwise right. like not really. But you understood the Scottish English version. Mm -hmm. Right. So would you say that those deserve to be called separate languages? I would think so. Yeah. All right. And we have one more challenge for you. Just read a short paragraph. It's from a children's book that was very popular. You might have read it yourself. And we want to see how much you can understand and if you can maybe guess what book it's from. Okay. All right. So you can read that out loud if you want to or just in your head. But uh, see if you can figure it out. So, did you understand any of it? Um, a little bit. Just talking about a blonde woman and something's long and she spends a lot of time in garden fences bothering the neighbors. Okay, so you get a little bits and pieces of it, right? Um, any ideas what book this is from? Um, like Rapunzel? I'll give you another hint. That's not right. Uh, I'll give you another hint. In the sport, in the, the book, they like to play a sport that's called bismball. That's the Scots word. It's a translation, right? So in Scots, they call it bismball. Any ideas what that might be? No clue. So that's the Scots translation of Quidditch. This oh. is actually Harry Potter, right? So if you look at it, uh, he was a muggle. What do you think oh, that is? Oh, a muggle. Right. And we just replaced some of the names with pronouns because they said Dursleys and Dudley and stuff. That would have given mm, it away. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Right. But um, having read this, knowing you can understand a bit of it, mm -hmm. does that maybe change your mind at all? Do you think maybe it's the same it's as English or do you still think it should be called a separate language? I still think it should be a separate language because languages don't have to be like completely different to be considered their own things mm -hmm. like there's definitely similarities in like Portuguese and Spanish mm -hmm. but they're still different so I would still think that it's its own language there's different spellings of things too mm -hmm. so right excellent thank you very much um, all right I'm gonna play you guys an audio clip and I want you to tell me what language you think this is there'll be some call at Unber call and at Mintla station just a vision It'll feel on the jilt side, at beelt side, and you win a see dice for ice. It'll be some rock at the brook, and very rock indeed, at Peter Heed. It'll be an entrance shower at Aber Lower. It'll be real wheat at King's Seat. And at Ochen Blay, it'll poor a day. So what language do you think that is? It sounded like... I heard some words English. It sounded like maybe a dialect of English, like around the UK, somewhere in there. What would you say? You agree? I was thinking the same thing, yeah. Maybe around Ireland. Okay, yeah. So that's actually a language called Scots. It's mm -hmm. spoken in Scotland. Uh, it's different from Scottish English and uh, Scottish Gaelic. But it's more, it's related to English closer than Gaelic is in a way. I'm going to play you a video that is the history of the Scots language in the Scots language. And I'll play you that same video clip in English. And I want you to... It got Scots tain muckle with smeddle. As a screeved lead, it mere and mere gied way to English. Ains London come to be seen as heat mace that matters a lead. It got... Oh. It got... Sorry. As a spoken language, many Scots found it advantageous to conduct their affairs in English instead. Unable to shake off their Scots pronunciation. So... Would you say that 
Scots can be considered a dialect of English? Yeah, I would say so. I think there are enough words in common, but I can't say that I fully understood it. Okay, so I'm going to have you read... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ask if they would understand the Scots better than the English. Okay, could you understand the Scots better than you could understand the English? Definitely not. I could tell, like, the structure is probably pretty similar, but, like, just with, like, a thick accent and probably a change in some vocabulary. Yeah, it was kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, same. The, yeah. Okay, so I'll show you a paragraph from a very popular children's book that I know you guys have both read. Uh, it's the Scots translation of this book. And you can either read it out loud or in your head. Uh, if you want to read it out loud, I'll give you the mic. Uh, and here it is. Turn up my brightness. Do you want me to read it? If you want to, yeah. Okay, should I try? <laughs> Go for it. He, he wis a muckle, beefy, bucket man with a stimpy wee crag craggy although he did ha a gay muckle mauser she wis a skinny malinky blonde hate it woman waist craggy wis jit a boot twice as laying as if her fox which wis offy hondy as she spent say muckle time keekin o'er garden fences nebbin at the na the neighbors they had a wee son and te them their Weasney a brar laddie in hay world world do you know what book this is uh, i don't know what book no clue <laughs> okay i'll give you a hint in this book they play a fictional sports the scots translation of this fi fictional sports is bism ball does that help you guys out at all i if I, I it sounds like it might be harry potter it's Harry Potter, yes. This is the Scots translation of Harry oh Potter. Oh, wow. You see the word, any words you recognize in this? Yeah, there were like some that were like spelled differently, but I could tell were the same, like neighbors, neighbors, garden, garden. What about muckle? What do you think that is? I had, that one I had Harry no Potter. Idea. Muggle. Muggle, yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> muggle. So after reading Scots, would you still say that Scots uh, should be the same as English? Is it a dialect of English or not? I would say, I guess I don't really know. I guess I would say kind of, because like, if you just change the words to the words I know, like it would make sense. But at the same time, as it is, I, I wouldn't understand it. Would you say that Scots is a dialect of English? I, th I think I understood that paragraph well enough that I could kind of understand it, so maybe. Maybe, that's a great answer. Thank you. <laughs> All right, gonna go ahead and press record. All right, Oops. recording. Microphone is on. All right. Um, I'm going to hide this, hide this. Okay. All right, let me turn up my brightness. Okay, okay, excellent. This thing keeps moving. Um, all right. So um, I can close this. I'll just let you guys know. Um, yeah, I just want to ask a few questions about... Scott's language slash dialect and some of your thoughts on it and maybe your experiences with it and um, You know so people don't spend the whole video just listening to two Americans ramble yeah. on with uh, with no insider opinions, but um, Yeah, I guess uh, we're good to uh, get started shouldn't be too long um, Just might have a few follow-up questions based on what you guys say all right, so to start, um, for the viewers, let's just introduce them. Yan, we met while you were studying at UNT, where we both did yeah. undergrad. You did a exchange semester there, right? Yeah, yeah that, was, that was right. Yeah. I did, uh, I think it was about five, six months in Texas, so completely different to, to Scotland. <laughs> uh -huh. And Ali, we met because we both studied at Radboud, where I did my master's, and you were, um, you were also doing an exchange semester, just there for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, six months in the Netherlands, um, nine making. Two hours just outside Amsterdam, so it's mm -hmm. where I met with you. Yeah, and uh, Jan, you are from Montrose, right? Or Eastern Scotland? Uh, yeah. what, what, what would you call the region? I, I'd say it's northeast of Scotland, uh, but it's um, it's not quite as far as Aberdeen, but between Aberdeen and Dundee is your major cities in that, in that area. All right, and Ali, you're straight from the city of Glasgow. Yep. yep. From Glasgow. Mm -hmm. All right. So first, I wanted to ask: Do either of you 
think that you speak the Scots language? I'll let you go first. (laughs) I would say it's mostly English, predominantly. Mm -hmm. I think Scots is uh, an older language, which is not really used that commonly in Glasgow. Although there is certainly some terms that have bridged over and are still used in everyday language. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, and what about you? Yeah, no, I, I, for me, it's definitely English. I don't speak Scots. Um, specifically, where I am in the northeast, uh, it's even more. How do I say, like, there's even less sort of even Scottish sounding words. I'd say. There, I mean, there's certain areas that we. We say things that are maybe very specific or very um, related to the Scots language, but certainly as a, as a language, definitely English. Right. So, yeah, I, I mean, I thought for sure it seems pretty easy for most Americans to understand you, Yan. Of course, you've had plenty of time here. and I think I assume for the most part, you know, no problems in communication. But, uh, of course, that also leads us to think maybe was there some subconscious because you were in America that you made it. Did you feel like you ever made it a bit easier for people to understand when you were speaking to them? Um, maybe, maybe a slight element of that. But to be honest, like I mean, I I, I work with a lot of American tourists here, and a lot of them have even said to me, and I, and I, and you know, it's a mix of people's English, mm-hmm. American, Australian. Um, so I'm not specifically putting on that since to make things easier here, and they certainly do say that I sound I'm quite easy to understand for them to mm-hmm. say that. I think a lot of them often think I'm Irish. Um, oh. I don't really understand that, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't think they have a problem understanding me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, Ali, I know for sure you're much harder for people to understand. I think for the most part, when we were together hanging out um, where we lived in the same building, you know, we could understand you. But once I heard you speak, we were playing a, a night of footy out in the park and uh, another guy from Glasgow came up to you and once you two started speaking to each other I was like I thought I understood these two but now they're switching is is something I never heard before yeah I definitely did experience uh, an accent barrier um, during my time abroad I feel like to kind of had to tone down my accent and enunciate and pronounce my words much more than usual when you heard me conversating with Luke and um, the other guy that's also from Glasgow, that was us talking more naturally, a bit more sped up. And um, that's probably why it was kind of difficult to understand. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so you don't think that even though we might have trouble understanding you when you're speaking, you know, amongst yourself with other people from Glasgow and your like natural accent, you still don't think that that would be considered like the Scots language? It's a good question. I don't know if the separation is enough to consider it a separate language. I would say it's more of a separate dialect. Um... Mm-hmm. All right. And um, so, Yan, yeah, you don't really speak that way, but do you find that you can understand Scots, like a Glasgow accent or maybe Doric, because you're not that far from Aberdeen? Do you find so... that you can understand those, even though you don't speak that way? So, I mean, um, I... Th- I can I can understand why certainly people from America or from non non Scottish English speaking countries find Glaswegian quite difficult, almost like a foreign language. I can I can understand that, but um, to me, because I've been maybe it's just because of Glasgow in terms of the media in Scotland is so important, and you get, a lot of the media you get from Scotland is from Glasgow. So I've been around heard it so long that for me it doesn't sound foreign. Like when I'm hearing Ali speak. I can understand everything he says clearly. Um, like it, it's not like he's speaking a different kind of language. Like for example, I'm I'm in Norway at the moment, and like the Danish and the Norwegians, they can understand each other, but they they it's not the same language. They know it's mm-hmm. a different language. There's words that, but when I'll be speaking, for me, it's 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 he's speaking English to me. That's the way I view it. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, and for Ali, I wonder when you were growing up in school and stuff. Did teachers have a tendency to, like, correct children the way they pronounce things? Because Glasgow has one of those strong accents that some people might consider to be Scots. Do you think 
maybe you, well, before I get to that part, do you, do did you have any experience where maybe teachers were saying, we need to speak more like this, stop using some of that Glasgow slang and stuff like that? So, funnily enough, um, no teacher ever said that. If you were speaking slang, um, verbally, linguistically. But as soon as you wrote down slang on a piece of paper, um, mm. that's when you would get called out for it. So, mm. you had to make sure that you used proper English when you are writing. When you were speaking, it wasn't the same level of strictness. Right, okay. But the writing was always like standard English. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, now, uh, what else? What else can I ask? Um, I think that's pretty much the basics. But um, last, I guess, um, well, if you, think, if you think you were allowed to write like in Scots, or at least write the letters kind of phonetically the way you pronounce them, do you think you might more easily consider certain dialects like from Glasgow to be Scots because you weren't held to that English standard? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, let's see. Let's see. Actually, let me send you guys both a picture real quick. And... It's one paragraph of a book that I want you guys to read. Um, Ali, I think I already sent it to you. So if you find the, the yep, picture yep. of that paragraph. And then Yan, I'll send it to you on WhatsApp. In just a second. Um, I do want to just add, actually, actually uh, about, sure. about uh, like sort of the, the northern, northern eastern, eastern part of Scotland. Scotland. There's a mm -hmm. way, certainly, certainly like, like Aberdeenshire, Aberdeenshire area, area, like the sort of, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, as I think uh, a lot of people from Glasgow, Glasgow probably call it the Tutor areas of uh, Scotland, Scotland. Um, like where there's like farming and communities and that. They um, they they have certain words which are completely different from English, or like not different, not completely different. That's maybe a bit extreme, but are more closely linked to like certainly up in the northeast way or north north of Scotland. You have things that are almost closer to like Nordic languages. And you could you couldn't say that they're Nordic, but they're mm -hmm. they're almost like they're closer related to that maybe than English, right? Because so that's kind of yeah, uh, like they had more of that uh, uh, Norwegian and Danish influence from like a thousand years ago. Right, exactly. Right. Certainly in the yeah. islands, um, you know, you go to Orkney and Shetland. I mean, Shetland is in a way when the sh when I listen to Shetland people speaking, um, if they're speaking. As they, as they would, would to each other, each other. Uh, for, me, for me, I would, I would struggle, struggle to understand, understand that, that actually. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. And I sent you the pictures. Ali, you have found it again? Yeah, um, yeah, got it. Can you just read that and maybe tell me what, um, if you can identify maybe what book it's from. It's a very popular children's book. And if you understand it. So I can say this is definitely closer to a separate language being Scots, although I don't think it's something that you would personally read in everyday life or come across it, unless you were specifically looking for an older Scots version. Um, some of the words from it, um, I'm not going to say that Glaswegians don't use it in everyday life. Um, I mean, there's there's words in there for me. Uh, like, again, I've got um, I worked with a guy who was a farmer, and there's words in there that he would use like muckle. And he would mm -hmm. use that. Um, th there's words there that I think the average Scottish person probably wouldn't wouldn't use on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But there's certain words there that I've heard I've have heard used by certain areas mm -hmm. of Scotland. Right. Yeah. And and some of the words are like the same spelled the same as english so i can understand a bit and when we interviewed people um you know they caught a few words here and there and and some of them even the ones that were different from english they could kind of figure out some of them like neighbors is neighbors um any ideas what that book is i'm not sure i'll give you i'll give you one hint um in the book, they play a sport, 
and the Scots name for that sport is bismball. I'm even more confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's Harry Potter. So that's like the, the second oh. or third paragraph on the first page of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's, or rather, the Philosopher's Stone for you guys. Um, oh, there you go. So, yeah, that's the Scots translation of Harry Potter. And it's interesting, you said you heard that people say the word muckle. Knowing that it's Harry Potter, what do you think muckle means in Harry Potter? What, what, what do you think that's a Scots word for in English? Maybe lots. I, 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 well, I was going to say more like, um, like a mess, messy kind of. Maybe. It's a muggle, the non-magic people. So that paragraph is talking about the Dursley. So you see how we um, put in pronouns over some of them because I took out the names. Because it was like Mr. Dursley, Mrs. Dursley, and Dudley. So I was like, obviously that'll give it away. So I replaced some of the names with pronouns um, to hide those. But yeah, so muckle is the word muggle, right? So it's it's um, on that first page where they're just describing the Dursleys a little bit. And um, yeah, it's interesting. So d do you both feel like you... You said it was like enough... To know that it was like a different language. Do you feel like you understood it at all reading it? Aside from like the words that are like the same as English? <sighs> to be honest, not really. Um, if I really took the time to maybe piece the certain words that I did understand um, mm -hmm. together, maybe I would get a fuller understanding of it. But from first read... Mm -hmm. uh, not really getting much understanding. Right. Yeah. That's the same as me. I think if, if I really sat down and studied it, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd probably get yeah. through the... But, but it's, uh, it's not something you would just sit and read, you know, just to read a book. No. All right. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Um, oh, I have uh, two more questions, kind of fun ones. All right. Could, could you guys say for us purple burglar alarm <laughs> Good. Uh, purple, purple burglar, burglar alarm. alarm all right all right purple burglar alarm okay that wasn't so bad you guys have seen some scots really struggle with that one um okay last question celtic or rangers Montrose. <laughs> Perfect mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all I need. Um, yeah, I'm not, I probably won't use all of it, right? But we'll we'll piece it together where... Uh, oh, I can stop this recording. Oh, um, if, if you want to shout out Ali especially, and Yen, if you have any social media or something you want people to follow you on, um, all right. Yeah, no, Ali, um, you know, thanks for taking the time to do this. Let the people know where they can find you. Yeah, I've got a YouTube channel for lifestyle content, Ali Tarek Life, and I'm also doing fitness content as well. So if you want a workout quick and easy at home in the park using only a body weight, then Ali Cali fit for that. All right, and we'll include links in the description and everything for that too. All right, um, I'll stop the recording.